Osteoporosis. Here's my little sign again. And I, I told everybody, I said, you know, I am not a painter. I am not a, uh, a, a person who draws or anything like that. These are very, very crude, but they serve a purpose. Right now, if you have osteoporosis or osteopenia, we have good medications, Actinel, Vosimax, Neocalcin, that are known to increase bone density. And they increase bone density. They rave about increasing bone density anywhere between 4 and 6% over a 24 to 36 month period. And if you're constantly losing bone density and all of a sudden you start building it up, that's not a bad deal. That's a pretty good deal. The thing is, though, if you're low on hormones and you get your progesterone level back and you get your estrogen level back, guess what happens? You increase bone density by 20, 18 to 22% over the same period of time. Why? Estrogen has been known, there are two different cells inside of the bone. Yeah, this is a bone, okay? okay. <laughs> um, or at least half of one. There are two different cells that are found inside of a bone. One is called an osteoclast, which eats up old bone, and the other one is called an osteoblast, that actually makes more new bone. Estrogen slows down the destruction of bone. Progesterone allows the osteoblast to make more bone. So if you're slowing down the consumption and increasing the formation, guess what happens to your bone? They get denser. How? Naturally.